friends! Welcome to Kelly Century Ranch. My name is Amanda. We are the corporate prodigal children returning to our family's farm to restore it for the next generation. Today, today is that day. Today, <laughs> as a gardener, you know, you know what day it is. It is the last day before a hard frost. We officially have a freeze warning. Um, we actually had one last night. I was a little nervous because um, I was expecting it tonight. And late last night, I got like a, a freeze warning notification on my phone. And I was starting to get nervous. Don't, don't mind Richard. And um, so I was like, oh no, I still have a whole bunch of things I wanted to come out and and pick. And so I did try to, I did put a, a, a frost fabric over some of my pe peppers. It turns out it didn't get cold enough to do a hard frost uh, last night. So we dodged the bullet there, but tonight, tonight I'm afraid is, is the night. This always happens where we have like a pretty hard frost uh, fairly early around here. Our official frost date is um, October 21st. Um, today is the 15th, so it's a couple days early, but not not too early. It's right right on schedule. So it will it will warm back up, but the uh, pepper plants, especially, which is what I grow the most of, um, they will not survive usually. <laughs> and um, you know, I, I've tried to go <laughs> in a couple years past, and um, it just seems like it, it there there's no there's no denying the inevitable um the the pepper plants it's it's time to say goodbye today's goal is to pick everything everything i can possibly pick um as far as the uh the hot peppers go i will pretty much be only picking um anything that has turned red or is turning red um i don't pick a lot of the green ones they they don't tend to have a really great flavor i'll leave those on if it ha if we happen to not get a frost which i'm pretty sure we are we're going to um but those will just be it is what it is right um the anything that is like the more sweet mild uh peppers i will be picking everything that is green er everything on the plant because those um uh, we we can use we will still use all of those i'll use the anaheims um i've got just a few jalapenos on my my one little jalapeno plant that that made it that i need to get and uh we're, we're also going to be picking some other things I did last night when I saw the freeze warning, I, I ended up coming out and I did go ahead and pick my birdhouse gourds. Um, a lot of people do leave those on the vine, but the vines were already, they had already died back. They were already um, dried out, but um, I really did not want to lose those birdhouse gourds. I've been babying them. I've never successfully grown them until this year. I got 10 birdhouse gourds this year and I'll be darned if I am going to let a frost um, uh, they, they will sometimes like rot inside instead of drying out properly. No, no. Anyway, I have those. I'll send, I'll, I'll insert footage here. We'll see if the wind is too bad, but I also want to tell you, uh, thank you so much for your thoughts and your prayers. I am a one week um, one week tomorrow, um, uh, post off for my gallbladder removal. Um, I'm not doing a big, bigger video on that when it's not windy and we're not in a hurry doing other things. But the surgery uh, went great. I am recovering well. Still a little, a little sore, but um, yeah, it, it, everything went really well. I really appreciate your thoughts and your prayers.
in this bed we have some Anaheim's. Um, I do have a bell pepper, and I think, oops, I just threw it. I think it's an Ozark Giant. Um, yeah, I didn't even know that. Uh, they just say red bell, they're a bonnie plant. But yeah, we have a few of them that are actually turning red. Very, very nice, very nice. Okay, I think we have about all of the peppers picked and go back into the greenhouse where it's not so windy because it's hard to hear. I think we have about all the peppers picked. Yesterday also, um, we picked, um, I have my son actually help me. We have an English walnut tree, which is pretty rare for here. We have a lot of black walnuts, um, but to have um, English walnuts is, is, is pretty rare. So we have an English walnut tree here. On our, on our property and um, it, for those local that don't um, that don't see a lot of English walnuts oh my gosh you local people will definitely appreciate this the way their their hulls are black walnuts the ones we see out so much our hair have like a green tar stains your hand really terrible husk to shell but oh my gosh these these are so clean and easy and anyway um, we picked a whole bunch of these um, so that is another, um, we, those didn't have to be done before the frost, but it's, it's always nice to get those in. So that is another thing we have harvested before the first hard frost. Thank you guys so much for spending time getting this last little bit. Jacob's actually getting a few little things um, as I finish this up because it is going to get dark soon and it is getting colder and yeah, it is it is time it is the ah, yeah the garden still goes on we still you know can do a lot of cold weather plants but it's like the end of that summer long garden the it's just like we basically call it the end of the garden right even though there's still technically things growing but it's always it's always a little sad I'm not gonna lie I but to everything there is a season and um, we have a great another one great coming up Thank you guys so much for spending time with us today and on this journey. We look forward to having you back. So please um, subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. We'll see you soon. Bye, friends.